As you can see, we're up here at the Palos Verdes Art Center, at least I hope you can see that. And inside there are two very exciting exhibitions of two local artists. They're very creative, very interesting, and I know, I know you'll enjoy it. So come with me as we go on inside and see their work. I'm sitting in a room in the Palos Verdes Art Center surrounded by some really gorgeous paintings and the author or artist who did them is sitting right next to me. Don, tell me a little bit about these paintings. Um, they all have a theme, and the theme is what? Well, plain air, I paint plain air. What that means is you're focusing on the light and the impact of the light on the landscape. And that happens at night and at sunset in addition to during the day. And some of these are dawn also. So I'm focusing on the impact and primarily of the moon on the landscape, plus human habitation, like there's paintings of the harbor, paintings of the uh, old 76 refinery, which is now the Conoco um, refinery, where you've got all these wonderful moonlight, stars, and uh, the habitation, lights of habitation affecting the landscape. Uh, it is obvious, if I, if I may say so, you and I certainly aren't 20 anymore, sadly. So when did you start painting? I mean, was this a, a childhood thing? No. I was, I was a, a lawyer for many years and a crisis manager. I retired when I got to be 65, and I had been very interested in, in California plein air artists, the early California plein air artists. A but you've never people. done painting before? I had not painted until around 2000, and that's when I started painting. But I took it very seriously. I took it as a career. Because if you take it as a, another final career, you can do it until you're senile <laughs> or infirm or both. And if you say it's not a hobby, then, then, you, then you don't have plausible deniability. You have to, you, if you're going to say you're an artist, then you'll be judged as an artist. What advice, you know, if I was watching this, and there's lots of people watching right now, what advice would you give to someone who has a dream in the back of their mind, but hasn't actually attempted to take the first step? Well, if they're interested in being an artist, the first basic thing they should do is buy the book or go to the library. The Betty Edwards the uh, drawing on the right side of the brain because it teaches you if you're a left brain person. That's the name of a book? It's the name of the book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. It's a very common book people learn in, when they're taking art classes. It teaches you how to use the visual side of your brain. So that's basic. The next thing is to study under people, and there's lots of wonderful classes here. Study under people who you respect their work and you want to learn to paint like they do, whether it's outdoors or indoors, whether it's figurative, whether it's landscape, whether it's abstract. We have, these classes here are, are wonderful. When you say here, you mean where? At the Art Center, at, here at the Art Center. They, they have classes all year long, four different sessions of classes. And I took classes here. The first painting class I ever took was here. And I see you have a book on your lap. What is that book? Doug Meyer put together a catalog of this show, and it's called The Colors of Twilight, The Nocturnal Landscapes. And it has in here not only each image that you see on the wall here, which is like 35 images, but it also has a story underneath each of the paintings, which I wrote describing why, it's, why I painted it, why it, the unique aspects of the painting. Doug, Doug Meyer is an extremely creative fellow, and he came up with the idea of hanging these paintings without frames. Well, not only that, but he painted the walls black as for night. I would have never guessed that it would look so fantastic, but I am overjoyed at what he was able to do for this show, because I think that people are really quite amazed at how beautiful the paintings look the way he displayed them. And I know when they buy them, and want to take them home, they're going to need a frame, so I'm throwing in a frame with the price of the painting. The show will be here until the 16th of March, oh, yeah. and we're open from 9 to 5 uh, on f Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday hours are a little bit shorter than that. They close a little earlier on Saturday and Sunday, but they're all for sale. <laughs> <laughs>
We're talking with Joe Baker, the executive director of the Palace Verdes Arts Centre, and he is the curator for this particular exhibition. Tell us uh, a little bit about another one of the artists here. Uh, hi, John. The exhibition, Keith Crown, the California Paintings, um, is an exhibition by California artist, Southern California artist, Keith Crown. Uh, Keith Crown was professor of painting at USC Roski School of Art and Design from 1946 until 1983, wow. and actually has a long history here of uh, uh, exhibition history here at the Palos Verdes Arts Center. He received the first uh, painting award from the Palos Verdes Art Association in 1953, returned again in 83 for a solo exhibition, and then again uh, reappeared in 1991. Uh, so like Don Crocker, he has a long history of involvement and support of the Palos Verdes Arts Center. As the curator, what uh, sort of thing are you looking for in terms of uh, what the public sees? Well, what I'm hoping our public will see and enjoy is this conversation between two very different artists, uh, both artists painting uh, on site in the landscape, plein air, and basically the same uh, landscape but with very different results. As the curator, it's interesting to me that you decided to have two people. Um, when you put something like this together, is there a sort of thought process in your mind that says, I need one person, or maybe I should have three? How does that sort of percolate in your mind? Well, I think it's always different. And for me, uh, every exhibition is an opportunity to tell a story. Um, and the artist becomes the voice of that story. In, in this particular uh, exhibition, we've removed um, all the unnecessary elements. That's interesting you say unnecessary elements. What does that mean? Well, I, I mean by that we've removed all the frames. Oh. So we have, we're showing the work we're, as the artist would see and experience the work while painting. In other words, we want no other distracting elements. We, we, we're just inviting the viewer to uh, experience the art as the artist uh, did in its creation. As the curator, do you find that um, exciting, I guess that's the word exciting, that you're showing works that have never been seen before publicly? Yeah, it's very, it's very exciting, and, and particularly in this case for a man uh, so much beloved by his students and faculty and colleagues at USC. So it's a wonderful um, opportunity for us to celebrate the artist, his work, and his life. So tell me again before we close, uh, tell our audience when this exhibition is. The exhibition uh, runs through March 16th, and the Palos Verdes Arts Center exhibition galleries are open seven days a week, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 until 4 p.m., and on Sunday, 1 until 4 p.m. And there's no need to make a reservation or anything like that? No, we have, we have room to receive the audience. So this has been another adventure in artistry and until next time, this is John Clayton saying thanks for watching.